If this is your first time watching me, don't let it be your last. And don't you forget to hit that subscribe button and check some more of my videos out. I'm gone. And we're going to 6 8. Hey, 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 everybody. It's MB Trucker 6 8 here. This is, uh, this is from my truck driver peeps out there. Um, I'm going to make a, a quick video on this um, ELD. This is gonna show you how to operate your ELD if you're new. Now, I have the Omnitrax. If you have an Omnitrax ELD, I'm gonna show you how to operate it. I'm gonna make a series of videos to show you different things to do to operate your Omnitrax. So first, uh, when you get it, you should be logged in. Your company should give you a password. I can't help you with that. You gotta get your password from your company and everything. But once you logged in, then I can help you from there. Now, here we go. I'm gonna show you here. Here's my um, here's my ELD here. So you see mine. Now, to show you, this is how many hours you have left to drive. This is on your 14. This is your 70. This is um, your until your eight out your eight hours. I mean, oops, sorry about that. That's until you gotta take your 30 minute break. And this is how long you've been off duty. See, I almost had a 34 hour reset, but I'm not gonna get it, so, oh well. And then this is this is your current status right here. So once again, uh, how many hours left to drive for the day? Keep hitting the button. That's on your 14, that's on your 70, that's until you gotta take your eight hour, I mean your eight hours, until you gotta take your 30 minute break. That's how your consecutive time off duty, and that's your your status, your current status. Now, if you get this screen, you got time to drive, and you good, and you should see some all of you all green up here. Now you go. So now you first you gotta go on duty. So you hit that, and now you hit the on duty, and see up there's gonna say updating status. Sorry about that, hold on. Okay, now you see how it says on down there? And it says um, driver's duty um, status, I mean, just change duty status. So once you get to that, it's not update no more, then you go and hit the home button. You wanna come back to this screen. And when you know you're on, you see your status over here changed. And now time to violation, which is your before you gotta take your 30 minute break. And you see now you see my 14 is starting to count down. My driver's not affected. Now at the top you see where it says treat treat pre-trip um, DVR required. You hit that. Bam. And then you hit right here. So say pre-trip it has your vehicle number. You hit that. Bam. Okay, and right here is going to ask you to confirm this stuff. It's going to confirm there. Is your vehicle safe to operate? Well, that's a decision you have to make. I can't make that for you. So, you know, you determine that part right there. You know, mine's there, so I'm going to say yes. You know, uh, this is for your, um, you know, you just um, accept this. There, your condition satisfactory. Your, did your pre-trip go okay? Hit, hit accept. And then this is how you put in your like your commodity and stuff. You know, I put my manifest number in here right here. And bam, 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 bam. It's my manifest number. Put that in. And then your commodity and stuff. You know, you um, enter your shipper and your commodity, you know, all that crap. I mean, I don't do all that, but if your company requires it, you do it. And if your company, whatever your company requires, you do. Only thing I do is the manifest number, you know. But, you know, that's whatever your company requires. And after that, then you're good. You're good to go. Um, you don't really have to do anything else. But now, so now whenever you're ready to change the status again, though, something else to keep in mind. So say you're on duty, you're stopped. Oh, yeah, and by the way, when you go to drive, let me tell you how to do this. So once again, you got your off duty, your sleeper berth, your drive, and your on duty not driving. Now, 
keep in mind, if um, you when you want to go on drive line, you cannot go on drive by yourself. The computer does that. But the other three, you can change. Now, there's different ways to go on personal drive time for owner operators. A lot of you company drivers, they may not allow you to do it. But if you want to go on personal drive time, I just want to show you something here real quick. There's two ways to do it. One way, the way my company allows to do it, you hit the off button, and then you see down here it says off duty personal conveyance. That means that's you're done with duty, you're about to drive home, you want to use your truck for your personal vehicle. That's what that means. Or you just go to regular off duty for take a lunch or something like that. You hit the off duty button. I'm not going to do it now because I'm starting my day. You hit that off duty button. You know, I'm going to go back to on. So I'm going to go back to on here. And then when you hit the on, you hit up here. You go to options. Now, another way to go to um, personal conveyance or off duty not driving is right here work extensions. And then, as you see right here, it's not highlighted for me. But then you got the clear adverse condition, something's going on. You got to extend your day or whatever. Or if you're local and you want to get the 16 hours extension, you could do that right there. You can only do that once every seven days, by the way, and only if you're local. So, um, just remember that. So anyway, that's how you do that. And now another thing to keep in mind, if you wanna, if you're off, if say you're on duty and you're fueling up. So say I'm here at a fuel stop right now. And once again, you hit the little three dots up here. Oops, no, no, go over here to your this screen. Uh, sorry about that, hit this, hit down there. Now when you're in this screen, you hit right there. Always go to options. And then you wanna go to, um, add a remark bam and that's how you you know you, that's how you do stuff you got an error you're doing a, a meal break low check weather you had a customer break eating breakfast you're in traffic lunch break all your stuff you're getting dot right there um putting fuel you're crossing the border that's all the stuff you can put in right there so anyway so i will come back when i'm done with my shift and show you guys how to do the log out and the pre-trip and all that stuff. So stay tuned for that. Uh, we'll be back. Okay, guys. Here, here's some other stuff. Um, so if you get to the screen and say you need to... Um, uh, let me go back here. Say you need to um, like enter some shipping documents and stuff like that. What you do is uh, you hit right here. No, no, no. Sorry about that. You tap that, get to this screen, right there. You hit the little three dots at the top. You go to options. You see right there where it says enter shipping info? Bam. Now I did that earlier. If y'all see my stuff up there, I did earlier. But that's how you come and you want to enter some other stuff. Now, after say, like I do a lot of dropping hooks, but for any, you know, Especially you company drivers out there, or actually anybody that just do do a lot of drop and hook. If you're owner operator, you own your own trailer, then you ain't to really have to worry about this part next step. But for anybody that's like a you know owner um, that does a lot of drop and hooks like myself, so you pick up a trailer like I just picked up a trailer right now. What you got to do now is go right here, go to this screen, and then you want to go to um, DV. Well, you go to DVR, DVIR. Right here, you see it says hook trailer. You hook, that's how you hook up to your trailer. You hook up to your trailer right there. Bam. And then you put your trailer number in. Like right here, so. Um, hold up. Okay, no. So I got on hook for this one. And then hook trailer. Um, No, see, that's a trailer I had before. Okay, hook trailer. Right here. No. Oh, okay. Inspect trailer. Um. Okay, that's how you drop a trailer right there. You just see me do that. I, I, I forgot to drop it. 
So now if I go to hook trailer, uh, let me see, that one right there, okay, right there. Um, you enter your trailer, so I'm gonna do that right, I'm gonna do that right now. So my trailer is, uh, That's my trailer hit okay. Okay, hold on, let me see. Maybe I did something wrong here. Oh, okay, unlisted trailer. Okay, that anyway, that, that that's why I messed up. I think I have to go to unlisted trailer right there. And let's see, it should work this time. Okay, so now that's in right there. So sorry for all the mess ups. And then right here. Um, okay, so that's it. So now I'm hooked to that trailer. So now if I go back, it's gonna, uh, right here. Um, see the trailer's right there. So anyway, that's it. So that's how you that's how you hook up to a trailer, right there. And I'll show you guys later when I unhook from this trailer what you got to do. So other than that, that's it. You're about ready to go. So like I said, just a little quick again. Uh, you know, I'm gonna take off now. Like I said, driving it goes to driving by itself. Like I told you guys before, there's some other little messages. If you want to see what your logbook look like, you hit this one right here. It kind of tell you what your log look like. You see. You know, I was off duty, now I'm on duty right here for this time, and I'm about to get ready to take off. Now what your log look like right there, and that's just the um, little, uh, you know, rough draft on how to use it. Alright, well, I will report back and show you the rest of stuff the rest of my day. Alright. Alright guys, um, I'm here filling up. You see, it still had me on the drive line. See, that's the one. So all you do... Um, is go hit the on like that. This is gonna say update status right there. Okay, see, as soon as that then is done, you hit, then you go, uh, hold on. Okay, you wanna go to this other screen right here, and then you wanna go up here at the top, hit that, go to option. And then you want to go to um, enter remarks and just go to fill. Hit fill and confirm. Bam, now I'm on a fill line and now I could uh, go do what I got to do. See, now it has me, um, hold on. See, now it has me on and I already put my fill in. Okay. Okay, guys, now we're at the end. This is how you drop your trailer. You hit that, you go to drop trailer. As you can see right there, hit that, hit that right there, and you drop the trailer and you hit your post trip. This is how you sign out now. Now we're signing out. Accept that, accept, and it's going to ask you to, um, if you want to log out of the system after this, it's going to ask you to log out of the system and log out. And with me, I log out every day. I mean, you don't have to log out, but I like to log out every day. And after you log out, um, that's about it, and that's going to conclude on how to use the, the Army Track. So, any questions, leave me a comment when it's you know something I miss or something else you need help on. Just let me know. See, I'm logging out right there. Just agree to all that stuff. Agree. 
switch to, um, off duty. You see that? And skip it. And then it's logging me out. Switch me off duty and everything. And just make sure when you do this that you're on a um on duty before you start all this. Make sure you're not on the drive line. So all right, well, thanks for watching, Emory Trucker. Remember, don't do drugs. Thanks for making it to the end of my video. Like I said earlier, if this is your first time seeing me, don't let it be your last. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button.